Hey makers, this is Ruvin and today I come up with another great new feature which is available in the Power Pages. Now you can write Power FX formula inside the Power Pages. So let's get started and explore this feature in detail with me. So here I am on my screen and here you can see that I have created one Power Pages site. Now let's say for an example if you want to write any power effects formula inside the power pages let's say for an example this is one text control i do have whenever you look at this kind of text control and when you observe this particular box over here you will be able to see an option of formula bar over here this formula is nothing but it is responsible to write a power effects formula for us let's click on that and over here you can write your own custom power fx formula for yourself so you can see that here i have written already one formula which i am printing over here on this website okay similar way you can achieve lots of things with the power fx so first of all let me talk about couple of things related this new feature so Make sure that wherever you can see this formula bar feature, this is a preview feature at this moment. This is not ready for the production ready purposes. Currently, this feature is available within only Power Pages version 9.6.5 and above. Right now, this functionality is something which you can apply on any kind of text control which is available over here. Or let's say for an example, if you want to write the similar code on your button control, you can write over here like button URL or button text. Similar way, let's say for an example, if you have images on images as well, you can apply uh, the code like image URL or alt text. If, if you want to have anything with the dynamic power FX formula, you can achieve that. Or let's say for an example, if you have any iframe control at the time also you can write this power fx formula apart from this text button image and iframe this formula option is not available for any other control at this moment so now let's start some of the journey by writing some simple power fx formula over here so first of all let's say this is the text control now let's get started and print one of the formula over here. So what I'm doing right now here is simply I'm writing one formula user dot full name. That's what I wanted to print here. And to do that, remember one thing, there is a slight change in the power apps, power automate and power pages. Here, if you want to write any formula, you need to start with is equal to signature. So once you start with this kind of is equal to stuff, uh, after that you need to type your formula. So let's say for an example, you want user's object. So you can simply use user and you can clearly see that over here it is showing all the intelligence to you, similar like your power apps and power automate. So over here we can simply pick up the user object and then let's use dot property and it has the different things available for you, which you can print over here like uh, Dataverse ID or email or full name, whichever you want to print, you can simply do it over here. So let me just print user dot full name over here like this. Okay. And with that, let me just print end person and let me just use space like this and then end person again. And let me just use another one like user dot. Let's say I want to print email as well. So I'm just printing email as well over here. Okay. And let's use double end person again. And let me just print a dataverse ID as well because I wanted to look at what it is coming over there. Right. So I can simply write like this user dot dataverse ID and let's see what it come up with. Let's click on save and let's see what happens. So see, it is showing this kind of preview to you over here. Okay. So let's just sync and do the preview on the website and see for authenticated user what it come up with. So let's have a look and you can see that uh, it is showing me that user info object was not added to the service. Let me sign in over here because right now I'm uh, unauthenticated user. Let me just sign in with my Azure Active Directory over here. So I'm just signing with the same profile which I logged in with. And see, currently I logged in as a Druvin and you can see that my name, my uh, email address, etc, etc, everything is printed perfectly over here. Okay, now let's go one more level up from here. 
Now, let's say for an example, sometimes we have a requirement like you have a dataverse table and from those dataverse table, you wanted to print some of the count. Let's say for an example, this is my desk booking website and on desk booking website, somehow I wanted to show some sort of text like, okay, I have uh, this many of tables and from those tables, this many of tables are available and this many of tables are booked. So how can I write this kind of power fx formula over here? So let's just have a look. So what I'm going to do here is I'm simply removing this formula right now uh, or maybe let me just add simply new text formula and here we will start drafting our content. Okay. So let's click on formula bar over here. Okay. And first of all, let me show you one more important thing as well over here. So let me just open up my power apps and let me just go through what kind of table I do have created over here. So here I have one table for desk booking. So this is my master table desk. And now let's have a look at the data. So you can see that I have one column called is available, which value is true or false. So at least from this table, I will get to know that, okay, one, two, three, four and five data are there out of five two are available okay and three are unavailable okay this is the overall stuff now i want to use this as a formula in the power pages so let's have a look so over here let's say for an example we already added the text control okay and now what i want here from this is first i want to enter some sort of text for myself so i will just write a formula total number of desk and then let's say in the string itself you want to append some formula then you need to use curly braces like this okay and before curly braces you need to use a dollar sign over here and then inside that you can write any formula over there so let's say for an example if i'm writing count rows because we know that in power fx count rows is used to find out the total count of the database and in count rows i will just provide the name of the database as desk data source and this will print the total desk count okay and after that what i want here is total number of desk are this many okay then i just want to hit enter and i just want to write like this total available desk okay and here as well we will use the similar kind of expression dollar and inside that we will use simply curly braces like this and here i can use my entire filter formula like power apps like filter inside filter you can provide desk and you can just provide like your available column so is available equals to true that's what you want right and this overall count is something you want to display so before filter we will simply apply count rows okay so let's say count rows so let's apply like this right we had filter here all right perfect and let's finish the bracket and that's how it looks like okay so this is uh total available desk okay and uh let's say for an example if you similar way if you just wanted to use it like okay i also want that total on booked desk then you can use the exact same formula with the condition false perfect and here we are let's say i'm just hitting save now and see what it generates with and here we are see this is what it is showing me as a result okay now one more important thing let's sync it and see in the preview itself and let's see what it come up with and you can see that i play my website and over here you can see that this is where we return our formula and you can see an error permission denied for this entity now what do we mean by that so we know that in power pages whenever we want to fetch any data from our database in liquid template or in any other way we always need to set up the permission at the dataverse level so let's set up the permission for the desk table on the power pages side and for that we need to go to the security section and need to do that but before we do that make sure that you have subscribed my channel hit thumbs up on this video and don't forget to follow me on my twitter and instagram account because these are the account where i'm uploading short content on power platform so make sure you hit thumbs up let's say for an example for security we'll go here and now we'll go to the table permission section from here 
Now over here we simply need to click on the new permission for ourselves and let's provide the name of the permission. So let's say I'm providing desk permission for power pages. Let's select our data verse table. So let's select our desk table over here and I want to provide read permission and this is I want to apply for administrator anonymous and authenticated all type of users but depending on your need you can choose appropriately and hit save. Let's click on save and that will add that level of permission for us. So let it to be added. So it's done. And now let's go here on the pages and let's sync it again. Let's have a preview. And you can see that this is how it rendered my data perfectly over here. Like total desk are five, available desk two and booked desk is three, which is absolutely perfect. And that's what I wanted as my end result. Now you can apply the similar kind of formula on your button as well. So let's say for an example, this is my button. Okay. And I want this button text to be dynamically displayed. Okay. So let's say for an example, if I want like if uh, my available desk are zero, then probably I don't want to show that book now button. I will simply say this button is fully booked. If it is having something. Uh, I mean available desk are greater than zero then only I want to show book now then I can use this button and I will choose the button property called button text and here instead of static I will just write this kind of formula if count rows of filter is is available true is greater than zero that's what I will apply as a condition if count rows is greater than zero if count rows is greater than zero then book now otherwise fully booked okay let's save it and let's see what it come up with and here we are you can see that it is showing now the book now and even if we look at the preview let's see what it did come up with so i just started the preview and here I am. You can see that this book now button is showing perfectly to us over here. Okay. Now let me show you one more important thing over here. Sometimes, you know, we wanted to show the current user information from our contact database because we know that whenever we are working in the power pages, whenever our user is created, no matter if it is authenticated or unauthenticated data, we always have a contact table where we can see all the information. So let's say for an example, based on the current logged in user, let's say we are getting this kind of dataverse ID for ourselves, right? Using this dataverse ID, I want to fetch some of the data from my contact table. Then how can I do that? Okay. Similar thing we need to do over here. So here, what I'm going to do is I'm simply using power FX and this time I'm start with is equal to, and I will use a formula concatenate because I just wanted to do like this concatenate and inside that first string I'm passing as hello. Uh, and then I need the second parameter is users name. Okay. But this time I want from the contact table. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to use simply one formula over here like this first of filter contacts user dot dataverse ID. And from there I want only first name. Okay. That's what I want. And I finish my bracket like this. Okay. And let's see what it come up with. So I'm just clicking on save and you can see that at this moment it is showing only hello to me over here and over here you can see that uh, I have contact table and I have user uh, object I'm also using here. Okay. So what we need to do here is we need to provide the permission on the contact table as well. Okay. So let's go to the data over here and same way as we applied the permission earlier for the desk table, we need to work on the table permission for that as well. So let's go to the security section over here and from there go to the table permission and in table permission, you can see that I have created two permission contact table and uh, user table permission already. So I've just provided read access. I'm just activating that back over here for myself, but you can add the similar way as we did earlier. I'm just activating both of this and uh, I just provided read permission, not a major permission. So see uh, over here and let me just assign a role as well over here on contact table. So I'm assigning for all the roles. 
okay depending on your need you can choose it wisely this is again like all the power pages topic and this is like user per user permission and contactable permission this two permission i granted okay perfect now let's sync this and let's have a preview on this and when we look at the preview let's see what happens and see it is showing me hello Druvin because I logged in with Druvin's account so I am able to see it perfectly. Similar way let's say for an example if you want to use some date time function let's say I am just using text function over here and let's say I just want to use like this current time is something I want to show on the uh, stuff I can simply use PowerFX for that as well so I can simply use like this um, current I, I can start typing like this current time is again I'm, I'm appending it with the string itself so I will use dollar and then uh, curly braces and inside that I will use a function called now and that will print the current date and time of the system let's save it and you can see that you can clearly see its preview at this moment on the screen itself okay so this is how you can do it like this okay now the question arises in your mind that okay this is what power fx formula we can use it so does that mean that okay in liquid we are going to deprecate in the future or maybe we should not use liquid versus power fx so let me tell you liquid is not going anywhere else it's still there okay liquid providing you more capability than the power fx at this moment but power fx is just like for low code people let's say for an example i'm not comfortable with liquid then you can use this kind of similar power fx inside the power pages as well to make our life easier but right now i would definitely recommend that use liquid in the production power pages rather than using this because right now it's still in the preview uh, it has uh, some uh, bugs inside that as well which is clearly stated on the official microsoft document but maybe when it is in GA probably after that you can start using this new feature okay so that's pretty much it now let me show you one more cool important thing over here so sometimes what happen here is um, as a as a developer uh, sometimes we are editing the code from the visual code as well okay so let's say for an example i am editing this code okay so this will probably open the visual code in online version like this so if you open the code into your visual studio code this is how your formula code looks like so if you look at this thing over here that we have added you can see that this is nothing but your similar like your liquid code over here right so this is how it it consider like fx means formula and whatever you have written here you have applied over here so similar way let's say if you want to apply the similar thing in your content snippet or let's say for an example in your web template if you want to apply it you can simply use that over here with your code as well like this fashion right so this is how the power pages evaluate those formula over here in the back end like this okay so that's pretty much it about this new feature of power fx inside the power pages hope this video gives you some information and values your time if so please hit thumbs up subscribe my channel and don't forget to follow me on my twitter and instagram with this, this is Dhruveen signing off. See you in the next session with some amazing content. Till then, have a great day. Goodbye.